gosh, you know, I have to say that I was born and raised, baptized and raised in the United Methodist Church. It is my theological and spiritual home, and the people of the United Methodist Church are my family. Um, that's very different, I know, from some people that maybe have come to our denomination late. So just for me, I love it because it's it's what gave me, brought me to this place and uh, um, nurtured me. But really, um, one of the other things I love about our church is the way that our theology and practice are grounded together. Um, we teach people to really um, think, I, I think our denomination encourages uh, people to be open to a lot of different perspectives and seeing things in different ways. We are very rooted in scripture and tradition, but we're also taught to use our reason and to look for how the Holy Spirit is moving in our world today um, and our, our experience of where God is moving in our lives and calling us into new ways of being. So I would hope moving forward that we can really learn to have a spirit of sitting together and having holy conversations, really listening to people with open hearts and open minds, being willing to be transformed ourselves by the gifts and the perspectives other people bring. And with that, I hope for this beautifully diverse church that we can have diverse colors of people, diverse um, thinking, diverse practices, diverse ways of being together, but still have a unity of spirit that embodies Christ's love for the world, um, because that's really what's most important. Sometimes we focus on being bigger and better and more, but you know what? Sometimes we can do really th small things with great excellence and lots of love, as Mother Teresa would say. And I think that that is really the way of reaching more people is to unleash the laity of the United Methodist Church. They are our biggest asset. And I just want to see the members of the churches I serve flourishing and living into the people God has created and gifted them to be so that they can create those new ministries for us.